I wasn't planning on spending a lot, but I accidentally did spend a lot. So I just thought I'd film a little bit of a shopping haul really. It is primarily Primark, maybe. I do have some other things from some other shops as well. I love this moment when I don't actually remember everything that I bought. <laughs> so the first thing I shall show you is this scarf. Everybody needs to buy a scarf from Primark at winter. It's like the thing to do. They're four pound, four pound. You can basically get them in all colors because they're so cheap. Because usually, like from Dorothy Perkins, they'd be like 12 pound or something. This is four pound, so you could buy three of these scarves from Primark in three different colours as opposed to the Dorothy Perkins ones which is one for £12. Anyway, basically a massive blanket. Um, yeah, I just thought this colour was really autumnal with the maroony colour and obviously a little bit of um, navy which I really like navy so I just thought this was lovely. Um, really, really cosy. I know it's a bit fluffy big but it's freezing cold anyway just chuck it on it'll just keep me warm <sighs> and let me fall asleep I cannot wait to sleep tonight so I just thought I'd throw that in there anyway wanted to get this video out of the way because out of the way sounds awful I do enjoy doing these that's why I'm doing them um but I just thought I'd film it now before I take everything out of the bags put them all in the way all the way in the cupboards and then have to like figure out what on earth it was that I bought while I was out in Chester and like get them all out the cupboards again and everything would have been worn and things then and I just thought you know what I'll just do it now while wow. I'm just like unbagging the bag I like it um so yeah four pound I did buy one of these last year um it was like a tan tan color brown and cream absolutely loved it I've lost it so I was like hoping that they'd have like the exact same shades there this year they just didn't but this is a nice compromise kind of replacement for that scarf. Kind of it could be used as a throw as well. If you didn't want to wear it as a scarf or whilst you weren't wearing it. Basically discovering what's next with you. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Because I have a massive addiction to Cafe Nero and any place that sells hot chocolate, it's a little bit, a little bit much for me. But it's quite plain, so I thought that'll actually do. Oh, this is round it. It's a mirror. Bottom half of it's just the stainless steel, and then the top half of it's like this um, shiny material. Don't really know what this is, but it's pretty simple. It's got no exciting design on it, and I just kind of like the fact that it's pretty plain. So yeah, it has a plastic top. I don't like those rubbery top ones. They feel really weird when you try and drink out of them. So I wanted one with a plastic top. And basically, yeah, so when I go and get a hot chocolate, I will just hand this over to them and they will put my hot chocolate in there. It'll help keep it warmer for longer as well. If I don't finish it by the time my break's over, I can take it back into work. Um, so I've got fingerprints on it. A bit strange, but that is a purchase that I really, really wanted to get today. So I'm glad that I found one. And it was only, I think it was £5. It was annoying because all the other designs were like £3.50. But for some reason, the one that I wanted was £5. Never mind. Another jumper. I really like this jumper, obviously, because that's why I bought it. It's a little polar neck and it's got ribbed sleeves. You know me, I like these little ribbed detailing. I bought it in a large because I did actually try the medium um, last time I went to Primark in the grey. And it was nice, but I felt like the arms felt like itchy. But then when I tried this in the large, it felt less itchy. So I think that it just, because it was a bit tighter on the arms, they kind of closer to my skin, they felt a little bit itchy. So I was actually happier with it in the large. So it's quite, it's quite baggy, but I like baggy jumpers. Winter is for covering up. There's nothing wrong with that. It's for drinking too many hot chocolates and for covering up and then panicking in January that you've eaten too much and realize that, you know, you can't cover up forever. We'll deal with that in January, but for now, massive jumpers and all the hot chocolates in the world. So yeah, I bought that, it was 13 pound. Okay, what else did I get? Ooh, I am so happy. I am so happy that I've 
just realised I should probably apologise that I'm filming this on bonfire nights. If you keep here back, I just keep ignoring it. I'm thinking, sugar, the camera's going to be picking this up. Um, yeah, fireworks. So I absolutely love the fact that Primark do wide fit shoes now. Don't actually know how long this has been a thing because when I originally looked at the shoe wear, shoe wear? <laughs> when I originally looked at the footwear in Primark, they didn't have any wide fit shoes. So I tried size eight and they just didn't fit. So I just randomly came across some wide fit shoes in like amongst some tops or something. And I was like, what? Primark do wide fit shoes? They're all tied together. Okay, these are just some little heeled boots, basically. I just really like, I don't have any exactly like this and just thought they'd look really, really nice um, with jeans or tights or leggings, really, anything. I just like the fact they're a comfortable kind of, comfortable size heel. They're not too high. They're chunky, which I love. And they're quite sleek looking because the problem with being size eight, some boots can look, Chunky boots can look really, really chunky if they're in a big size. Um, I really wish I had like tiny feet, like size five, where you can get away with big chunky shoes that don't look like men's shoes or something. Um, yeah, so these are just, they're really, really comfortable as well. Um, obviously haven't walked them yet, but they've got a really, really comfy base. And they're 14 pound. I bought another pair of boots from Primark. I looked at these last time. I tried them on in a, in a black and, a brown and I couldn't decide which colour to get so I just gave up and left them. Then I decided I actually wanted them, went into the clan, did no Primark and they didn't have them. And then when I went to Chester today I thought they're going to be gone, like they just are, but they weren't, they were here. So I bought them in the brown, Hannah helped me choose because I literally couldn't decide whether to get black or brown. They're just basically a knee high, just under the knee um, boots and kind of threw all my old knee high boots away because they'd kind of just worn out and just weren't even very comfortable ones. Um, so they've got a little bit of a heel, two buckles across here, little stretchy panel across here, little bit at the top and again I'm pretty sure these ones are extra comfort. Yep, yeah. wide fit, extra comfort. If I see a label saying extra comfort or comfort fit or anything like that, I'm like yes. I need those <laughs> just because I like to be comfortable. Um, so yeah, they are going to be so handy in winter. Again, wear with a dress, but with these, if it's raining, you're just not going to feel as cold on your legs. Um, and yeah, over jeans, like nothing wrong with that either. I'm hoping, got a little bit of grip, a tiny bit. They're not that slippy stuff, which is nice. So I've got a tiny bit of grip on the bottom to hopefully they won't be slippy in the rain. Yeah, they both have actually, so that's good. Okay, what else have I bought? What I currently use to put my washing in is just one of those big plastic baskets and it just sits in a room and no matter which room I put it in, it's, it just looks hideous because it's just got a load of washing and a big plastic basket and it just doesn't look very nice. So I've been wanting to buy something nicer to put my washing in. It's a very strange thing to want to buy, but I decided to just buy this from Primark for now. I don't know how big it's going to be. Um, does that so, show somebody carrying it? Why would you carry your washing around? Look at that picture. You can do wear it as a backpack. It's definitely a laundry basket. Okay then, so it's basically just a laundry basket um, and it says on it, laundry today or naked tomorrow. I mean, I hope I've got more clothes than what fits in here so that if I didn't get around to washing what was in here, I wouldn't end up naked the next day, but who knows? This was six pound anyway. Um, I just thought it was, it's gray, so it matches my house pretty much. I just thought, that sitting in a little corner by the spare bed in that room um, just would kind of look a little bit nicer than a big plastic basket. I really don't know how big that's going to be, whether I'm going to be, need to buy more of them. Oh my God, it's actually massive. That's huge. That is way bigger than it looked folded up. That's like the perfect size because 
they're quite clever really they've done it like the size of what would fit in your washing machine so that's pretty good I like it I'm not gonna wear it as a backpack though it's a bit weird socks I just it's winter just have to buy socks these are called luxury socks and they're just grey and beigey colour comfortable soft socks and they're £2.50 for two um, I just love wearing comfortable socks around the house or under boots sometimes if you kind of want that like last night I went out to watch the fireworks and I wore two pairs of socks either in the house or under some boots on a very cold day this is really boring really, just a standard pack of socks that are kind of maroon and cream and navy colours. You get five in a pack for £2.50. Some more comfortable socks, these ones just feel so nice. Um, again, cosy socks, two pairs for £1.80, so that's quite cheap. Thing is with Primark socks, they're cheap and cheerful, but they do get holes in quite quickly. Like especially if you do lots of walking and things. But you know, just throw them away, buy some more, why not? And the last thing I bought um, was this. It's basically my first kind of Christmassy purchase. Um, it was £3 and it's called Winter Spice Room Spray. And it's frosted cinnamon. Where's the top crooked? Oh my God. Mm, that's so nice. I love it. That is so nice. I don't really know which room that's going to hang out in. Probably the bathroom or something, but it looks quite pretty as well. I just, I liked it. It smells good. I now smell of this. It does remind you of Christmas. It's kind of, it's got that cinnamon, I suppose. That's kind of like a Christmassy scent. That's lovely. Probably won't last very long. It's, I mean, it's cheap, perfumey smells. I mean, they tend to kind of lose the scent quite quickly. Like that smell won't hang around for long. So I'm just enjoying it while it lasts. <laughs> also, we did spend about an hour just going around looking at stationery. Um, so I had to end up buying a little bit of stationery, obviously. So the first little stationery product, project, project, product. So the first little stationery product I bought was this little thing here basically got a marbly effect with a gold kind of trim around this bit and it just says on it shopping um which is very apt and inside it just has little columns where you can basically put just things lists of things that you want to buy i'm a bit of a list person i love lists literally one pound from wilkinson's one pound from Wilkinson's. It's not got tons and tons of pages, but I just thought it'd be quite good. And also has a magnet on the back, so you can stick it on your fridge. Just thought that'd be quite good for shopping lists, for actual food shopping lists. So I bought that. It was a pound, I couldn't really resist. <sighs> so in need of a cup of tea. Now we were wandering through the precinct and we just happened to spot it just looked interesting from the outside. I was like, come on, let's just have a little browse. We expected the shop to be quite small, but then it ended up being like this massive maze. It wasn't a maze, it wasn't complicated, didn't actually get lost, but we were just surprised at how, how big the shop was. It just kept going. I actually looked in Smith's, I looked in Wilkinson's, I looked in, I looked somewhere else, Paper Chase, and I was looking for the perfect diary because I've got this little bullet journal but I feel like with the blank pages it's kind of not enough for me I feel like I need a bit more structure already in place because I don't really have time to doodle too much and kind of make my own little columns and structures I feel like I need something with a little bit more structure already in place so I found myself this anyway I best tell you what shop it was it's called Sostrine Greens such a nice shop it reminded me of Ikea, it was just so strange. They had like stationary items, but they also had candles and they had kitchenware. So exciting, it was perfect, but it was so beautiful. And like everything was in like little wooden shelves and things and all the price tags and things were handwritten. It was just, 
it was really lovely beautiful i need to find out a little bit more about that place actually but this is the little diary that i ended up buying um such a nice i love i just couldn't find the exact thing that i wanted in any of these other shops but this one just kind of had that look about it that really really warm to um so it's very simple and just like neutral colours I just like that kind of like pastel shades it says 365 days planner perpetual calendar so inside it I had a little browse and inside it first of all it's got personal information written on the beginning then it has like a yearly planner don't know how well this is going to show up um I'm not going to take you every single page but basically the kind of daily planner is like this so you've got a little section where you can put the date and then you can basically write all the way down there um, anything you want and does it have lines very very faint lines but there are lines so you can just literally write your list of things you need to do that day all the way down there so each page is basically like that and it just looks so pretty and it's just so simple and exactly how I like it and if I miss a day it doesn't matter because I can write, I kind of like the fact it doesn't already have the days in there. You can fill it in however you like because sometimes I will miss a day or a week and I can just like, I don't have to like waste the whole page. I can just write in the next day that I'm actually going to do. Just pretty little pictures in there and things. Absolutely beautiful. I love it and there's loads. Well, there's 365 days in total so it should be fine for next year. Oh no. I'm not waiting until 2016. What year am I in? I am not waiting until 2016. Why am I saying it again? There's no way I'm waiting until 2018 to actually use this diary. That is really handy that the dates already aren't there. So that means I can actually use it immediately. In the back, it's got loads of plain pages as well. Oh, it's just beautiful. Perfect, exactly what I was looking for. And a hardback cover, cover. Why can't I speak? Another thing I just picked up in the same shop was this little, another thing very, very similar to the shopping list that I bought in Wilkinson's. It's got a little magnet on the back, but it's just plain. Um, it's a bit reflective because it's still in the packet. Little design around the edge and just basically another one of these really. And that was only 99p. That was cheaper than that one from Wilkinson's. It's thicker, more pages, bigger. From a lovely shop. I don't, I'm just so glad we found that shop. Um, and the diary was only £3.58. Like, I couldn't have got it that cheap from somewhere else. It looks so well made and it was £3.58. So I, it doesn't make any sense. The next thing I bought was this Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturising Lip Colour Balm. It's basically, it looks like lipstick, but it's that kind of like balmy thing that, that loads of different makes have got this now. But I remember just getting a sample of one of these, like in a red color. I've tried other ones, but they just don't give the same effect at all. Um, so I've had this in the red before. I recently, like literally last week, bought a new one in the red because my red had run out. And then I thought to myself, I wonder if they do any nudish colours. This is basically what I'm wearing right now, by the way. Um, I was thinking, do they do any nudish colours? Because I wanted basically a nude colour that doesn't dry out my lips. So the top of it just looks like that and it just goes on like that. And it's basically like lip balm, so I love that. Yeah, they're like £18 or something, so they're quite expensive, but I just really, really prefer it to any other because otherwise I'll just waste my money trying to find one that is similar to this but isn't quite as good so I just thought I'd cheat myself to that. Anyway, okay, that is pretty much everything, pretty much that is everything that I bought from Chester today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you haven't watched the vlog in which I went shopping with Hannah and bought all of this stuff, please go backwards and check out my vlog in Chester of my shopping. I'm talking nonsense now. Stick around for what else I come up with and I shall see you soon. Bye! My tea's cold now.